Hello! Welcome to Anime Mystics. I'm Roman, and tonight I am watching Hensuki episodes 8 and 9. So, last episode... Get this, uh, get this up. Or, last episode I watched, anyway. Um, was focused mainly on, uh, Otari. Otari. The stalker. Um, to his friend. I can't remember his friend's name. But he has a, uh, he's a lollycon. So he likes younger, younger girls. And she's older than he is. So she knows that if he found out that she was older than he was, he, she wouldn't have a chance. So she blackmailed the main dude, um, Keiki, into helping her start some kind of relationship with him. Um, she had taken photos of him and uh, uh, Sayuki, the president, the masochist, and um, said that she would spread them around the school if he didn't help her. So obviously he had to help her because he doesn't want that spread around. Um, so... In this episode, he introduced them, got them, uh, since it was, I think, what, winter or summer, I forget which one, the summer uniforms or the winter uniforms look the same as everybody else's. The only difference is that the bow that they wear is a different color depending on the year. Uh, but since she likes to wear a hoodie all the time, he told her to just wear the hoodie, cover up the bow and should be okay if you just say that you're a year younger than he is. And it was working. They were hanging out a lot. They were talking a lot. They were going out. They went on a double date with uh, him and uh, Sayuki. Went bowling. Uh, Sayuki is not a good bowler. But I believe Otari is. Um, towards the end of the episode, he asked for, you know, said something about how she can destroy the photo now since he's, she was getting ready to tell his friend how she felt. And she was like, I already destroyed that. I got rid of it the day you agreed to help me. And he's like, well, why would you do that? And he's like, oh, she's like, uh, you didn't seem like the kind of person who would back out of what you said you'd do, so... I, I destroyed it. Got rid of it. Um, so, she meets up with him. She starts, so, you know, has them start walking home together. And when they reach a certain point, she stops. And starts bringing up this time when they were younger. I think like a year or so younger. He had helped her by getting a hat she was wearing that had gone into a tree he had gotten it for her and that's when she fell in love with him and started stalking him and she's telling him this and then brings down the the zipper to show her bow and then tells her tells him how she feels and he's like you know I'm sorry I'm a lolicon so no and he walks off uh, it wasn't like he just told her, "No, I'm a lolicon. Uh, get out of get out of here." He was really upset about it. He'd really started to like this girl, <laughs> and uh, Keiki shows up and is talking to him, pretty much calling him an idiot. <laughs> because who cares if she's a year older? And then he goes and he talks to Otari, trying to make her feel better. And as they're verbally abusing the dude without him being there, <laughs> he shows up and he's like, hey, could you maybe not say all that kind of stuff behind my back? And uh, she gets super nervous and then he comes in and he's telling her, you know, it's, it's going to be a little weird going out with somebody who's older than he is. So for now, maybe they could just be friends. And she gets this look on her face and starts telling him, you know, 
basically all this, uh, these kind of mean things. But he kind of, he gets it. And then she starts laughing and says, no, I'm just, just kind of getting back at you for what you said earlier. You know, I think I, I deserve it. One second. Or I think I've earned it or something based off of what you told me earlier about you just saying, no, I'm a lolicon and then walking off. <laughs> and she said, sure, let's, let's be friends first. I'm opening this little package, so sorry. Okay, we're good. And he's happy about it. She's happy about it. Keiki's happy about it. But then his friend is like, why is it so dark in here? Why do you guys have the lights off? And he turns on the lights. And that's when he sees the room is completely covered with photos of him. And he real and she tells him that they're photos that she's taken. Really creeping him out. And then he's like, you know, maybe I can't date someone older than me. <laughs> and then they ended on that. So, yeah. I don't know where they're going to go from here, but let's get into it. I got more of those little crackers. So, yeah, if you hear me crunching, I'm sorry. All right, anyway, the video is going to be located over here. And the link to the reaction is going to be in the description down below. And we're going to start this episode in three, two, one.